Hey guys, uh, John here, and uh, this is another one of my uh, Hex World reviews in uh, response to Sam Sam uh, Samwise Seven RPG. And uh, as my last video was, we I stated my race for for my hex, and that was the Silmak, Silmak, um, which were intelligent bug people. We didn't have we don't have a defined gender, we're just bug people and they live in the underground city of Tulak. There's a map I drew it if you can see it. And yeah, um in the city this is where they do uh they mine for iron or whatever metal that they have. I haven't really worked that out. They nest you know, it's where they do their worship, where they forge things, where they sell things, where they do their government, and their government structure is basically like a Senate type thing, like a more Greek democracy type thing, where everyone has a vote. Um, in this city, they worship a uh, rock, or, uh, the great keep, the great keeper, and they believe that the Tsumak. And the city believe that he's the reason why they're underground here, and they're underground here to be safe by him, and they never venture outside of Tilak on the surface world, because that would be breaking his will. Hence, Rock's symbol is a it's a keyhole beneath some rock to symbolize the city. Locked underneath the earth, underneath the uh, earth. Um, also, throughout the city, uh, actually, the the city goes about miles and miles deep below the ground. However, there's some pictures of some of the next levels of, and it's basically a giant dungeon. Like, if you're familiar with the Halls of Under Mountain or something, it's very much where the idea came from. And down in this dungeon, all sorts of matter of crazy monsters exist. I haven't really come up with them yet, but uh, to put them in kind of some D&D &D terms, like, you might find a Grell, which are these big things right here. And just, you find these weird monsters, like, uh... Slads or stuff, and that's just to put it in D and D terms. I haven't even come up with the monsters yet for that. Anyway, I also mentioned in my last video that the Sumac people were also divided from basically arcane magic users and, and the psionic, the, the psionicists of the city. And the magic users they forced out of the city and into the above world, where they meet hostile environments that they learn to live, um, and so society is much more tribal, much more primitive. However, they found a giant metal uh, thing, halfway buried, like calf buried beneath the earth and half above. Which I said in my last videos can be alluded to as a spaceship. Which, yes, it is, but the, they don't know. They act, uh, the Sumac on that end think it's, oh, this is, uh, our own city, you know. This is, was given us by the god who was documented in this place. They gave it to us, and that one is, uh, white. Uh, w. Uh, y T wielder of the flame spear, demi goddess of the hunt and vengeance. Her, her symbol is obviously the flame spear. Yeah, and the flame spear is a holy relic that's in found in this crash site. 
that allows the wielder to inflict great fire upon its enemies. And, uh, yeah, uh... And basically, what they believe through the teachings of Wyatt, um, they believe that eventually they will... Wyatt destines them to return the Tolok and take it over for their... for themselves and open it up and free everything. And free the city from the crushing, crushing rule of the psionicists. Anyway, yeah, um, that's my hex world so far. I will keep you all posted. Um, still working on a calendar, but yeah, uh, there we go, that's it so far. I will keep you posted for any updates, and as always, happy gaming!